Hey, welcome to another episode of the Mods. I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and modify your front turn signal so that you can go ahead and use a switchback LED. Now, this particular vehicle is a 2012 Honda Fit, and this right here is the front turn signal. This is a single filament bulb, and so this will only light up when the turn signal is initiated. It will not turn on with the parking lights. The parking light for this vehicle is up here, so when this light is on, this light does not turn on. So I'll show you right now. So there you go, as you can see the parking light is on, but then this light is not on. And as you can see, when I turn on the turn signal, this right here blinks amber. Right here is the bulb and socket that is currently in there. As you can see, this is a single filament incandescent bulb. There's only two contacts, one is for ground, one is for power. And when I remove this, there's only one contact in the base, and there's only one contact here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swap it out to a contact that has two base in the bottom. And here is a socket. As you can see, there are two contacts in the bottom. And there are three connectors. One is for parking, one is going to be for turn signal, and one is ground. You're also going to need to purchase a pigtail, such as this one. Now when you do this mod, you cannot reuse the same bulb. You have to buy one that has the two contacts in the bottom which will be a dual filament bulb so they can work both as parking and turn signal. What I'm going to use is this JDM Star 1157 which has two contacts in the bottom as you can see right here that will go into the socket. Now in order to use this 1157 socket inside that headlight you have to go ahead and shave the top right here. It's the opposite tab you see right here it looks like that and I went ahead and shaved almost half of it off in a slant like that. Because without doing this, it's not gonna sit flush inside that headlight assembly. All right, so opposite side from the wide tab, shave that off right there. And you can shave it off with the Dremel or like a nail file or even clippers. And that's right there. So to wire this up, you're going to take the ground and positive turn signal and tap it here. So ground here, positive turn signal here and you're going to take the positive wire from your uh, parking light that's up there and tap it into this wire to that. Alright so here is the front parking light socket. To remove this you just turn it counterclockwise, it comes out and disconnect the wire harness back here. There's a tab that you press right there and this will come out. And then go ahead and remove the parking light. It's up here. Turn it counterclockwise. And so the wire that I'm going to be tapping for the parking lot is going to be this gray wire. I'm going to connect it to the red wire right here. And then the middle uh, ground wire and the turn signal. We're going to get it from this wire harness. So again, just press that, remove the socket. Now for me, because I don't want to splice into the stock wire harness, I just made a wire harness adapter so that I can go ahead and plug in the stock wire harness for the turn signal and also the stock wire harness for the parking light up here. It just connects into it and so it's straight plug and play. So I'm going to take this, remove the parking, hook it up to my wire harness. The other end right here will plug into the parking light that's up here. This one will plug into my modified socket right here. And then I'm going to take the switchback LED and insert it in here. And next go ahead and take the new modified socket and put it back into the headlight housing. Turn it clockwise to lock it in place. And then take the 
original stock wire harness for the front turn signal. Plug it into the wire harness adapter. And finally, take the wire for the parking light, plug it into the socket, and put it back inside the headlight assembly. Now there you go, it's complete. Now I've installed switchback LEDs on the passenger side, the driver's side is still stock, so here is the difference. Now as you can see, the passenger side, now that turn signal turns on with the parking light. Driver's side is still stock, so it's not turning on. Only the parking light that's up there is turning on. Now when I do the turn signal, that side will flash amber. All right, so there you go. As you can see, the white is off and it flashes amber. It will continue to flash amber until I turn off the turn signal and I'll go back to white. All right, so that was a procedure on how to install switchback LEDs on your vehicle where you only have a single filament bulb. You need to first A, swap the socket to a dual filament bulb and then tap the wire for the turn signal positive and ground. And then the last wire that you need to add will be the positive wire that's gonna turn on with the headlights. All right, so I'll have all the products used in this video in the video description below, so go check it out. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. As always, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, where I do free monthly giveaways for my YouTube subscribers. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.